Welcome to LearnWire. We're going to be looking at peppertype.ai. It is recently back on a flash sale on AppSumo. It's only here for another 10 days at the time of recording this. By the time you see this video, it may be down to 10, 9 or 10 days. So you want to be sure to go pick this up. If it's right for your business, go ahead and pick this tool up. I'm surprised they came back. I don't think that they really need to go back. I, uh, I'm just assuming that AppSumo probably reached out to PepperType and said, hey, do you guys want to do a, a flash sale? Um, you guys had so much success on AppSumo. Come back and do a 10-day flash sale for us. And that's probably what's going on. Uh, PepperType had, has over 1,000 uh, five-star reviews. That is very rare for a software on AppSumo. This has got to be one of the best softwares that had ever been released on AppSumo. The ratings show, the reviews show, and so forth. You can get licensed tier one for $99. That'll give you 50,000 words, and it goes up from there. Um, this is a top recommended software. I do strongly and highly recommend picking this software up if you are into AI content writing. Now I want to just jump in and show you a demo. I'm going to go first and get a keyword. So I'm going to use key search. And um, I started just doing some uh, weight loss, how to lose weight, uh, keyword research. And then what I like to do is find a website that's ranking in the top 10 for a keyword. And it's like the lowest domain authority than all the other sites, right? But it's somehow it's ranking for competitive terms. And then what I'll do is I'll go and look at their keywords um, on their site. And then I'll sort it by score. And then look at you get all these green keywords um, that this site is actually getting right. So that's how I go and kind of steal uh, keywords uh, from competitors. So I'm going to come through here and I'm just going to look for this one maybe right here, how to lose weight um, as a mom or even this one, weight loss for moms. Maybe we'll go like that. And I'll say copy that keyword. We'll go into pepper type. And I had an article in here already. I'm going to go ahead and clear this, uh, give ourselves a fresh start right here. And let's see right here, uh, start writing here to use this as a blank note uh, or pick uh, from a template. I'm going to come back over and then open up notes. Okay, so there's a little button right here says long form blog. I'm going to click on that and they do have a template here. So blog title, use blog ideas to generate a blog uh, title. So this is kind of like their wizard, if you will, you can go and click on this blog ideas right here and it's going to give you your title. Okay, so this is how you would do this. You would go and you'd click on the blog title and we would put this uh, keyword in here. Okay, so I just type that in right there and we're going to say create content. So this is where we're going to go and look for our blog ideas, right? I'm going to go with this one right here. So I'm just going to say right here and this would be our blog title, something like that. Okay. Then you can go in and you can use the SEO meta description. So you could take this title here. You could go into meta descriptions right here. Click that button. Just throw the title in right there and push create content. So they have the template right here. All we have to do is just go down the list right here and use their templates in order to create a long form blog post. So right here, I'm just going to highlight that and delete that and then just paste that in right there. Okay. And then we can just put that this is the meta and then we have our intro. So blog introduction right here. And a lot of it's going to stem from just your title, create the content right there. They're saying that alternatively, you can also use the content expander to do this step as well. Um, this one didn't mention anything about moms. So I would skip that one, but I would come down here and use this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all this and I think I'll just delete that and then I will push the paste in and you can see how easy this is to follow the steps, right? So now we have our title. Uh, we can delete this right here actually. So it's really neat how they just kind of give you the template. So we have our title, we have our meta description, uh, we have our introduction, and then now we need a blog outline. So I'll just click that and we'll come back in here. We'll grab our title real quick. So it is very straightforward, very self-explanatory, and you just go through the steps and, and go down right here. And we've got an outline right here. I'm just going to go ahead and add it. And you can just remove that. And this is your outline right here. Just paste that in. Okay. So then now you have your introduction and your outline, and then you have your main content. And I've showed you in the last video that you can just take this and use the blog expander tool. Okay. Uh, but what we're going to do right here is this main piece right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete. 
and then I'm going to, going to push return on each one of these. So now you have a nice setup, okay? So then now what we'll do is I'll probably get rid of these parts right here as well. But here is some of the tools that I wasn't really able to go into in the last video that PepperType has added to their software. So we can go and highlight this, why you need to lose weight and I would maybe some try to, I would try to incorporate, you know, moms into this um, because that is what the article is about. So I would probably uh, rewrite this in some way. Uh, we might be able to rewrite this. And I'm going to go ahead and just say, why is it, is it important for moms to lose weight? And then I'm going to highlight this. And then I'm going to say, this one right here, write a paragraph. So it saves a little bit of time and button clicks uh, where you can go to the template area over here and grab the blog post um, expander or paragraph expander tool. But instead, it's going to go out and write this content. There are many reasons why it's important for moms to lose weight. One of the most important reasons is that it can help improve their overall health. Being overweight or obese can increase a mom's risk for developing chronic health conditions such as heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer. Losing weight can help reduce these risks and improve a mom's overall health. In addition to improving health, losing weight can also help a mom feel better about herself, carrying excess weight. So, and then finally, so it just gave us a ton of content. Um, it did a really good job. So I'm finding that it's writing a lot more in depth and a lot more content when you use this feature right here, write a paragraph, rather than going over and using the uh, blog post expander tool, uh, which is, let's see, right over here, it would actually be this uh, blog heading expander tool right there, which is nice, but this is even working better from what I'm seeing so far. So we just put our cursor over here and we would say paste to here. Then we would highlight this, come back over here, make this an H2, and we are on our way. I'd get rid of that outline uh, situation. And we'd also get rid of the uh, intro right there. And this is just the meta. So you'd want to make sure that, uh, you know, maybe I'd go like this and then put some dashes right here. Uh, to make sure that this is just going to be something that you put um, when you're posting your site in WordPress. Here's the title, and then here is the introduction, and then we jump right into the the, the outline, right, the content. And we got a really nice uh, few paragraphs right there just for the one topic. How much, how many words was that? I can just left click right there, right click word counter, and it just wrote 200 words for us um, at the click of a button. Um, they are working on adding the word count inside the note feature right here. Um, so expect that to come pretty soon. They don't have it quite yet, but um, they're working on it. So DIY tips to lose weight for moms, right? I'm going to just always put that in exercise and diet to lose weight successfully for moms right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return. I'm going to highlight this section and I'm going to push uh, the right paragraph button and it's going to go to work. So you can see right here, they are working on a write more. I'm, I'm going to test this out. I'm not sure if they has the write more button, uh, but they are adding that as well. So here we go. We have this right here. I'm going to go ahead and just put my cursor right here and push paste to the notes section and then I'll format and then I'll come back over here and we will make this an H2 as well. So you can see how easy it is to write long form blog posts with pepper type really super cool. Um, let's get this other one done right here. So I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to highlight over that. I'm going to push write a paragraph as well. So the exercise and diet to lose weight successfully for moms right here. And we've got, um, some content right here. So I'm going to go ahead and push return and paste as well. And then format this up takes two seconds and we are done right there. So we have the, um, meat and potatoes of the article written. And then we have a conclusion right here. Um, we can just go to blog conclusion and then it'll bring us to this right over here. Um, we can go highlight the title of the blog post, throw it in right here and push create content. It'll go and write us a quick conclusion paragraph for us. So as you can see, it's just super straightforward, really easy to use this tool. We'll come through here. We will remove that and paste to note. And then we'll format this up. And then I'll go ahead and highlight and just see how many words we're at. So we're at about 663 words right there. 
And of course, the length of your article is going to be determining, uh, de uh, dependent on how many outline topics that you have, right? So however long your outline is, if you only have three or four paragraphs planned for your outline, then you're going to have about a six or 700 word uh, article. Uh, but at the same time, if you have 10 topics to talk about in your out article outline, then it's going to be a lot bigger of a, an article that you're going to be able to create. So uh, basically if you want longer um, articles or blog posts, you just need to make sure you have a longer uh, outline. So there is what it looks like right here. And we have a nice article about how to lose weight for moms and keep it off for good. Now, uh, I just wanted to go and see if I put my cursor right here, I don't see like a write more button, but they do have, if I go like this, we have a simplify. So we could uh, push the simplify button. And it's not good. I don't think it changes the text right here inside of our notepad. It always works on the left hand side. So you can see what you're going to do first before you change it. So we have this content right here. This one obviously didn't work for us, but we could switch this out with this writing right here. Uh, we would have to remove this and then add this over here. So I do think that they need to get better at, they need to allow us to be able to do this inside of the notes area, which I think that they are working on that right now. We can expand on this and we can rewrite this um, or we can write another additional paragraph based on that. So if we push the expand button right here, um, let's see, losing weight can help reduce these risks and improve a mom's overall health. We could go and add this in over here. Just push return and paste more content in right there. And then just kind of fix the formatting up. Obviously we have a lot going on right here. So I would go ahead and add uh, in some uh, returns right here as well. Maybe come back over here, split up the content, uh, split up the sentences. So people are not having to read so much. Uh, so, so the large uh, paragraphs, which make it hard for people to digest the content. So now we're up to a nice 750 word article and you can just keep going. So that's how the, some of the new features uh, inside of the tool uh, inside of pepper type, of course, at any time you can go and create a new project. You can always access history and come over here and see all the different uh, modules that you've used and all the content that you've get, gotten written. You can always come back up over here and see where um, how much content you've used by clicking on my account. And then you click on the usage stats right here. And as you can see right here, I've used 3,800 words today right here. And it's saying that I have 100,000 words uh, each month and I'm on licensed tier three right there. Okay. You can look at this in seven days, months, three months, six months, and over the past year, what you've used. Then you can come back over into home and you can go and you can actually highlight any of the ones that you want to use that you use a lot. You can go in, like, for example, go into SEO blog intro. Um, you can put that as a favorite this one as a favorite. So all these blog post ones um, I use as favorites. So we're going to go ahead and highlight all of those. And then um, I want to go back over to my favorites. Now you can see all the blog uh, modules are in here. Now I haven't tested this one out paragraph writer. Let's go in here, enter a heading or keyword. So I want to go and just get that keyword, how to lose weight as a mom, for example, let's just use that for fun, we'll come back in here. We'll throw that keyword in here and say, create content. Let's see what pepper type comes up. This is, I believe a newer module that I haven't tested before. And then it says, uh, there's no one size fits all answer to this question as the best way to lose weight as a mom will vary depending on each individual's unique circumstances. However, there are some general tips that can help any mom slim down first, make sure to get plenty of rest and exercise regularly. Both of these will, um, both of these things will help boost your metabolism and energy levels, making it easier to stick to a healthier diet. Uh, additionally, try to make healthy food choices as often as possible and avoid processed and sugary foods. Finally, cut down on your portion sizes and avoid snacking between meals. By following these tips, you, sh you should be able to lose weight safely and effectively. That is some really good content right there. Um, just for fun, let's go and get something more technical. I want to test something more technical in here. Strength training over 40 um, stay at home mom workout schedule, maybe something like that. 
Let's go ahead and grab that one and throw that one in here. So we can just go to edit details and throw in the new keyword right here and create. Let's see what it comes up with us with for us right here. Let's see if it can actually tell us what kind of schedule it came up with a schedule for us. That is pretty awesome. As a stay at home mom, it can be difficult to find time to f uh, fit in a workout. However, it is important to make time for your health and fitness. Here, are a here is a suggested workout schedule for stay at home moms. So you could do 30 minutes cardio on Monday, Tuesday, strength training, 30 minutes, and then cardio 30 minutes on Wednesday, thir uh, th uh, Thursday, strength training again. And then Friday cardio. So you're kind of alternating and then rest, rest. So this schedule allows you to get a workout in every day while still giving you two days of rest. And that's accurate. It gave us two days of rest right here. Cardio can be done, um, can be anything from a brisk walk around the neighborhood or a more intense workout at the gym. Strength training can be done at home with, um, with body weight exercises or at the gym with weights. This is perfect. This is, it handled that real quick. So I really, really like that. I want to do one more just to see if it will talk about maybe strength training for females over 40. We'll come back in over here and I'm going to throw that keyword in right here and just to see what it can come up with. But as you can see, pepper type is very useful. User interface is very crisp, uh, lightweight, very, very, very fast. And you get some high quality content inside this tool. There are many benefits to strength training over the age of 40 for women. Strength training can help to improve bone density, which can help to prevent osteoporosis. Strength training can also help to improve balance and coordination, which can help to prevent falls. In addition, strength training can help to tone muscles and improve body composition. All of these benefits can help to improve quality of life and increase independence as we age. It's a great paragraph. So you could also use this tool. It seems like it's writing some really high quality uh, content from this paragraph tool as well. So what you could actually do is when you come back in to your uh, notepad over here, and let's say you have more stuff to talk about, like right here, exercise and diet to lose weight successfully for moms, or maybe this one right here, you could also come and take this one up here and use the paragraph writer and just throw in the keyword and DIY tips to lose weight for moms. You could also use this in uh, conjunction with the uh, long form content tool over here. So we could come over here and we can go and add this in right here, push return. And here are some DIY tips to help you lose weight, cut down on sugary drinks, get moving, watch your portion sizes. It just busted out an entire article for a, a huge paragraph, multiple, multiple paragraphs right here. We can paste this note into right here. And then I can actually look and see how many words this actually just gave us right here. And it just gave us almost 300 words of content, high quality content right there. So um, we can come back up here, control A and see what the word count is. Now we're over a thousand words, right? So, uh, so far after jumping back into pepper type and doing some tests, this um, paragraph writing tool, come back over to home and go to my favorites right over here. It's under the SEO section, but this paragraph tool is brand new. They didn't have that before, I don't believe. Um, I used to use the blog heading expander, but for some reason I'm seeing, I feel like it's giving longer um, paragraphs and more detailed explanations and higher quality content uh, with this paragraph writer tool right here. So this is pepper type, uh, super cool. I'm going to be making more content with this. I'm going to be um, actually writing some articles with this and publishing them. And I will test to see if I can get pepper type to rank, which right now, based on what I'm seeing, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get this ranked um, on one of my weight loss sites. I'll be able to get some of this content ranked for you. And then I'll come back and I'll update you, but this is pepper type. Go pick it up. There's only 10 days to go They're They're doing a flash sale on AppSumo. This is a top rank recommended tool. I've been doing uh, AppSumo reviews for over a year now, and this was one of the best tools that hit the market. And you can see they have the proof 1072 reviews, five stars, five tacos, go pick this up. Uh, you don't want to miss it. This is probably the last time you'll ever be able to pick up pepper type at a lifetime rate. Alrighty. We'll see you in the next video.